But here you guys, we are here at our first real pride. The other one didn't really count. We made it on time. We made it on time. So we're gonna take you guys along at our pride event. How I look? Boo. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, you guys, we are here at Pride. Let me see how it goes because it started at 12 and it's already like what? One, two. We're gonna see how it goes. Welcome to Pride. Guys, uh, it's gonna be hot as shit, but first, look at my fire, fire. shoes. You know how long I waited to get these? Fire outfit, babe. Guys, this is my outfit. We got overalls on, ghost shirt. Looking all cute and stuff. And a tan. <laughs> so we did actually go to kind of our first Pride in Washington, D.C. But then again, I told you guys I was working. So I didn't really have the time. And everything that was happening um, that Liz looked up, the events, was happening around like 12 and all that. So we went super late and it wasn't that great at the end. But this is our first real Pride. Say hi, Pedro. Hi. <laughs> So if you guys don't really follow the LGBTQ plus community, um, I guess I'll tell you a little bit on my side, which is Erica Bernie kind of, you know, where, where we stand and um, why we go and all that. So this is my very first Pride. And from what I know, the LGBT Pride Month occurs in the United States to commemorate the Stonewall Riots, which occurred in the end of June at 1969. So every June, you kind of see that it is Pride Month, and it's a whole celebration, the whole month of Pride, which I really wanted to be a part of this year. What's up, guys? We just got done watching the drag show, um, and then I got hungry, so we came. <laughs> We came to get some Asian food. Yes. But the drag show was pretty cool. We got some egg rolls. Boom. Then a combo. Ooh, that was delicious. It's time to eat. <laughs> Or what? It's delicious. We just finished Pride for right now. What do you think about it? It was cool. Definitely better than the Washington DC one, in my opinion. It was only better because we got here on time. Yes. Uh, but it's hot and we're hungry, so we'll vlog more once we get food because I'm hungry. I just never really had the ability to go to Pride and um, not really much of the opportunity to go. So the fact that this year I was able to, it was amazing and I had an amazing time. Since we already paid $5 for parking like all day, we're actually going to walk and go get food. Um, I thought the Pride was cool, the drag show was cool, the drinks were not that great. They were expensive and they literally tasted like seltzer. Is that what it is? Yeah, it literally tasted like a uh, white cloth. Yeah. So I just ended up getting a white cloth. And she said it was much better. So <laughs> we're going to get some food. Even though we had like the Asian food, we shared it together. Um, I haven't really eaten all day. Uh, she only ate a sandwich earlier and it's like almost what, four? Sandwich. Sandwich. It's nice to be in the city again a little bit, you know? <laughs> we're old gay people, you guys. <laughs> we don't really like staying out in the sun for too long. You're not even old. Okay, I have an old soul. Okay, that's what it is. It smells good. So we're at this sushi spot and we got some <laughs> white peach sake. So. Hey. Cheers, guys. Not bad. Tastes a little bit, tastes a little bit like medicine, but it actually tastes okay. Consume it. I like it. Okay. Yo, done. It'll do.
I just want to remind you guys that love is love no matter what. Um, regardless of the gender, sexuality, that love is love and no one should be criticized or anything just because of who they love. And I believe that. I ate all the sushi. I did not eat all the sushi. I ate all the sushi. She did eat all the sushi. I ate all the tzatziki. That was delicious. Now we're about to go to Target for cheers. This. <laughs> and now drop the pants. <laughs> Because I paid for it. I'm not not gonna drink it. I used to do that all the time. But it's not so bad that I can't drink it. Take it like a shot. Like Nyquil. And then... Okay guys, we're finally at home. We actually went and stopped by Target real quick to get some Estorbush. And I got a new cup. It's cute or whatever. And we got Bobo a new toy. But that was how Pride was. Pride was great. I had an awesome time. Um, it was just an event just bringing us all together and just having a great time. So if you guys ever have a chance to go to a Pride event, wherever you're at, I'm telling you guys, go. Because it's just like good vibes and all that. But my baby is using the restroom right now. So she's saying bye over there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. And the bubble.